Rex is the idiot. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. And follow us on official Twitter account. And thank you for supporting the Patreon. Yes. Today. What are we doing? What are we doing? Another Debar trailer. Not trailer, video. Gotcha. You said Debar, and I was finishing with Debarge, and I'm like, why are we doing Chico Debarge? No, it's those music no, Music Debarge. festival? <gasps> so, uh, it's somebody we don't know, but it, you can say the whole thing for me, please. Oh, Nina Burmi sings Tumri. Vocal and tabla. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Uh, we always really enjoy these. Time to get teleported to another uh, realm. Here we go. I think it's about nine minutes, so oh, strap oh. in. Uh, oh, I'm so ready for this. Um, it's gonna be good. Oh, my hands are gonna tingle. And usually I feel like you guys enjoy these as well, um, but we really enjoy these because it's introducing us to new singers and different instruments, and just the, obviously the music of India is beautiful. It's I hope we get to it. Dabar, if you're watching, um, we would love to come and we really uh, would. work with you. <laughs> we really would love to come and experience this live. Yeah, that would be fantastic. So mm. here we go, let's just get to Transport I'm really happy. Here we go. The beats? It's like the beats logo. Doesn't it? it does.
Yeah, stand up. It's the first time they've shown the crowd. It's a really small stage. Mm. For, I thought it was, I thought it was such a, a bigger. Right, a bigger venue. Uh, yeah, I did too. It looked like it was a little, little like <coughs> I thought they were on stages like a TED talk. Yeah, that's right? what I was thinking. Um, um, she, holy cow. Um, her, she's very, she's very different than the others we reacted to. Her voice is like almost so smooth in the way yeah. she can carry it. Yeah, it's incredibly impressive with how smooth like butter, like it's butter on top of a pancake. If you don't know what a pancake is. <laughs> yeah. Um. Who. And Her, then also the drummer, the tabla, tabla. Yeah, that dude was flexing. <laughs> yeah. Who? Just, just effortless mastery, and her, her mastery of her instrument and the diaphragmatic breathing. Yeah, I mean, because first of all, the posture that she's in for Western singing is completely antithetical to what choirs and... Yeah, you don't need to be standing up to get the proper... Yeah, or at the very least, if you're seated, you would be on the edge of your seat and you would have your shoulders back and you would be relaxed and you would give enough space for your diaphragm to be able to, 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 to function because your diaphragm, in case you don't know this, for diaphragmatic breathing, it's basically like a parachute that's above the stomach and it is the thing that gives the support to the lungs and for diaphragmatic breathing, if your posture is incorrect, if you're pressing down on your diaphragm, you're not gonna give enough support. So what typically happens is anybody in a seated position tends to let the inside of their core collapse and press down on the diaphragm. And that's why in the position, but if you noticed, you, if you watch the subtleties of her posture, a couple of things she did as a singer, she was seated as she was, and she would, in between phrases, when she was looking over to them and taking a break, she would let herself give in just a tad in the center of her core, but then when it came time to sing again, she would lift it again, and she would put her hand on her knee, and you'd see her shoulders come back, and her chin would stay down, which is another sign of proper singing form. A lot of singers, when they go high, especially rock singers, they will tend to lift their head which is technically not right to do for your vocal cords because it's putting a strain on them by stretching them. When you sing up, your chin should actually come down as you go to the upper notes. Hugh Jackman does this all the time. You watch him go into the diaphragm as he sings and as he's going to go up to a high note, he comes, the chin comes down a little bit. She is so next level that it was just reminding me of, again, uh, you'll know this because of the conservatory, the difference between artistic expression and fine artistry. Mm -hmm. And I'll get on a soapbox. Because there is a huge difference between artistic expression and fine artistry. I'm not going to pontificate. That is fine artistry. And in America, our culture has become extraordinarily dumbed down into the differentiation between artistic expression and what is fine artistry. And technological advances have allowed people who are subpar in a fine artistry capacity to actually seem like they're great artists, mm -hmm. auto-tune's a great example. Listen to stuff from the 70s, that's them, no auto-tune. And when you see somebody live, that's always the litmus test. Were you created by a studio and you really are not an artist or can you do it live? This is, I don't have enough words to describe how freaking hard that was and the level of mastery again that we see from these things that we do. The amount of pitch changes she goes through, it was like almost effortlessly and not even like moving her mouth that much. It's, I'm getting emotional. Yeah. It's that, I'm getting emotional for two reasons. I can't fathom, I can't fathom the giftedness and the work it takes to do that. That is, that is so hard. It's, it's like, um, I don't know. It's like the same thing like when I watch somebody who does a, a perfect, that's how I felt. Like, remember when I told you I was watching Header? I'm like, this is perfect. Don't, don't screw it up. I had that feeling watching this. It was like, like when you're watching a gymnastics performance on a floor exercise and you know, this is perfect. You're gonna get tens, you're gonna get tens. Don't screw, that's how I felt watching her. It's like, you are perfect. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that makes me sad is how much here in America, we've settled for crap yeah. that we think is good artistry. 
and and will let someone like that become an international name and become extraordinarily wealthy and then you have and I know they don't do it for that but it seems like such an injustice to think we're only finding about her and how many people in America know who she and those other two masters are because they were equally masterful she was center stage though mm -hmm. and and I'm just as always with the artistry we're seeing musically that comes out of India yeah it, it was fun to see her unbelievable he, uh, the the guy on the left of her, uh, she had to to get her him where she very she jazzy. was very jazzy. And so she was like, <laughs> oh yeah, the, the 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 musicianship communication that was going on. Yeah, deeply deeply. That's all because I'm not a musician. Um, I've always wanted to be, but I don't have the patience for it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but it's always astonished me how they can kind of just. Not just like uh, the singers in them, but like when a, a bunch of musicians are playing and they don't say anything, they just look. Yeah. And they was like, okay. And you don't even need to look. You don't even need to look because if you're playing in a band, you will know your player you've played with for a long time. Mm. And, and they'll do something and you'll hear it. And you'll look at another musician. So let's say you're a keyboardist. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm going to use names. Like this guy Goom I know. Goom will play something on the keyboard. And I'll know it was a goom thing, and I'll look over to Caleb, and we'll smile at each other because we both know what goom just did. Mm -hmm. No one else knows, mm -hmm. but we do. And then we can do something else, and it's time. To, it's that unspoken bond yeah, that happens with musicians. It's always astonishing. Yeah, and she musicians. clearly they were they were having that. But as much as those other gentlemen were extraordinary, well, the, her, the guy on the tab, how do you how do you pronounce it? Tabla, tabla. Uh, when he. He even got a little. I don't know if you saw it. I think your eyes were closed. Um, he had a, like a little, like a little hammer. Oh, I missed that. He hit. Yeah, he I hit missed the that. My eyes were closed. He was like, ding, 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 ding. no, he but a I, little hammer. I did love the playfulness that was there as well. Um, and but she, I, I just the yeah. mastery. She's phenomenal. The discipline, the giftedness is. It's other freaking worldly, man. Yeah. Just so. so beautiful. Let us know what other singers and Thank like, you for especially that. if it's Debar, because we really oh, like man. them. Oh man, they've been also, Park. They they they're at least <sighs> currently nice in terms of not copywriting stuff. Yes, uh, thank um, you for that. Uh, and so that definitely helps. But it's we we love all of their stuff so far. So any fine artistry slash musicianships singers, if it's even just that, because there's one I believe looks like a guy. With, I know it's not a flute, but it looks like a guy with a flute. Yeah. Uh, that I've been eyeing for a while, so it might be seeing that one, but uh, let us know. Uh, but it doesn't have to just be this, like famous playback singers. Probably not their songs from like a film, because that will probably get copyrighted. That will probably get copyrighted. And but I, I don't want to have to cut it up. I really would love to know if like, she was involved in the Passion of the Christ score. Yeah, let us know. But uh, if uh, they have like a live concert that they've done, yeah. Just, just send it to us because we, we want to soak up all of this all as much of as we it can. And share it with as many people as we can. Yeah, it's life. It's life enriching and changing. I feel more. I feel like I'm celebrating and appreciating life more and becoming a better person by mm -hmm. being exposed to people of this level of greatness. Yeah. It enriches my life and makes me appreciate everything about creation. That's kind of how you feel about me. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs>